boys and girls, welcome back. So yesterday, boys and girls, we started talking about how frogs grow and change. And we talked about how if you're going to have a frog, there's something you need first. The first thing you need are teeny tiny little itty bitty eggs. And the eggs are usually clear or sort of whitish like this. And you find them in a pond or some sort of lake or water. And then boys and girls, out of these eggs pop a teeny tiny little tadpole. And the tadpole swims around in the water, kind of just like a fish, but he's not a fish. Because soon, boys and girls, the tadpole starts to grow some legs. First, he'll grow some back legs, and then he'll grow some front legs. This tail starts to get shorter and shorter, and then before long, he's able to climb out of the water because he's turned into a grown-up frog, just like this. And this frog, he can stay in the water, but he can also come out of the water and hop around on land too. Now, boys and girls, there are lots of different types of frogs. There's some teeny tiny frogs. There's some really big frogs. Some of them like to stay in the water. Some frogs, like tree frogs, like to hang out in trees. So there are lots of di different types of frogs, and you can find them in lots of different types of places. So boys and girls, today we're going to read two books. The first book this is our book right here. This isn't a storybook. This book just has some really cool pictures of how frogs grow and change in it. So look, the name of this story is called Frogs. So let's look at some of the pictures. Here are some frogs right here. It looks like they're sitting on some lily pads. Those are like big leaves that sort of sit at the top of a water. Frogs lay eggs. In the eggs are tadpoles. So look, here are the eggs right here. Remember, they kind of look like that clear and almost kind of look like a jelly substance. And you can see the black part right here. This is the tadpole. And then over here, you can see how the tadpoles are growing. They're still inside the egg there. Tadpoles change and grow and change and grow. Look at, here's the tadpole right here. This is still in the egg and look at them over here. They're changing and growing. And change and grow. So look at them over here. They have this really big head right here and a really long tail. If you look super carefully right there, you can see where the legs are starting to grow. Now over here, you can see how the legs have gotten even bigger. It's still a tadpole because it has this super long tail and the super big body part right there. Into frogs, look at that. This one just came out of the water. Its tail is still a little bit long, but look at this one over here. He doesn't have that long tail at all. Frogs change and grow. And change and grow and change and grow. Hmm. And lay eggs. And then the whole cycle happens again. What pops out of those eggs? Tadpoles. What do tadpoles grow? legs. And then what do they turn into? Frogs. It keeps happening and happening and happening. So that was a neat little story. I like being able to look at those real pictures of how the tadpoles grow and the eggs and the frogs. That's pretty cool. But now, boys and girls, I have a fun little story that we're going to read. This is our story right here. One of the things that frogs are really good at is frogs are very, very good jumpers. So we're going to read this story about this little frog right here. And he's living in this pond. And there are all sorts of dangerous things around him that might think he might make a good little snack. 
to get away from all those things, what do you think the frog can do? You're right, the frog can jump. So the name of this story, boys and girls, is called Jump, Frog, Jump. Can you say that with me? Here we go. Jump, frog, jump. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm gonna need your help during the story to say that every time the frog needs to jump. Now, boys and girls, I also have some little pictures down here that are going to help us tell the story. I emailed all your special grown up these very same pictures. So if you can or you want to, maybe you can ask your special grown up if they can print them out and then you can tell the story along with me. If you can't, that's okay, boys and girls. You can just do it with me right here. Okay? All right. Fantastic, boys and girls. What's the name of our story again? Say it with me. Jump, frog, jump. Fantastic. It's written by Robert Callan. That's the author of the story. This is the fly that climbed out of the water. Oh, look, here's my little fly right here. See my fly? I'm gonna put it right up here. There he is. This is the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. Oh, I had the fly. Now I need to put up my frog. I'm gonna put him right next to the fly because he's what came next. How did the frog catch the fly? Oh, this is where you need to help me. Do you remember what the words are? Jump, frog, jump. Did you all say it with me? Let's do it one more time, ready? Jump, frog, jump. Oh look, there he is, jumping away. If you look very carefully at the pictures, you're going to get some clues about what sort of things might be coming up next in our story. Do you see any clues? I sure do. Let's see what happens next. Oh. This is the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. Oh goodness, what's going after the frog? The fish. So I'm gonna put our fish up on the board because the fish comes next. There he is, there's the fish. How did the frog get away? Ready? Jump, frog, jump. Look at him jumping away with those super long legs. Oh, just in the nick of time, he got away from the fish. Hmm, I wonder what creature he might encounter next. Do you have any guesses? I do. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. This is the snake that dropped from a branch and swallowed the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. Oh my goodness, what do I need to put up on our board next? You're right, we need to put up the snake. Whoa, look at how long he is. How did the frog get away? Jump, frog, jump. Look at him jumping away. Oh my goodness, just as the snake opened up his big wide mouth. I wonder what's next. Let's find out. Oh my goodness, what is it? A turtle? This is the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from a branch that swallowed the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog get away? Oh, before we do that, what do we have to put up? You're right, the turtle. Here comes the turtle. How did that frog get away? Here we go. Jump, frog, 
jump! Whoa, look at him jumping. And there's the turtle. Oh my goodness. I wonder what's going to try to get him next. Hmm. Oh, oh no. Looks like it's a net. This is the net that wrapped around the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from the branch and swallowed the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. Oh my goodness gracious. What do I have to put up next? The net, you're right. I'm gonna put it right down here. How did the frog get away? Here we go. Jump, frog, jump. Look at him jumping away. Oh my goodness, thank goodness he's such a good jumper. These are the kids who picked up the net that wrapped around the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from the branch and swallowed the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. What do I need to put up, put up next? You're right, the kids. Here they are. Here's one, two, of the children. How did the frog get away? Jump, frog, jump! Look, look at the frog jumping. All the children are going after him. Look, looks like he has a basket in his hand. I wonder what he's going to do with that. Hmm. This is the basket put over the frog by the kids who picked up the net that wrapped around the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from a branch and swallowed the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. Oh goodness, what am I putting up next? Yeah, the little basket. How did the frog get away? Hmm. How is the frog gonna get away? Let's see. Oh. Look, there's one of the little boys. He's come over and he has his hand up like this and he's saying, shh, what do you think he might do? Now he's saying, Jump, frog, jump. He let the frog out of the basket so the frog could jump away. And that's the end of our story called Jump, Frog, Jump. That was a fun little story. Thanks for helping me tell that story. I really like that. So boys and girls, one of the activities I also sent to your special grown-ups is this really super cool activity where you could make your own jumping frog. So boys and girls, so I'm going to show you just really quickly how to make it. You're going to take a little frog like this and you can color it in any color you want. I colored mine in almost like a yellowish green. Okay, so we're going to take a little frog like this and then boys and girls, you're going to need some straws. We're going to take a straw and I'm just sort of going to cut it so it's right about there. Then, boys and girls, what we have to do is you take some tape. This is something your special grown-ups are going to have to help you with. And you want to close off one end of the straw. So you're going to take a little piece of tape and you're going to sort of pinch it down. And you're going to pinch it down pretty hard so the end of that straw is nice and closed. I'm going to take another piece of tape and wrap it around it like that. Okay? Then, boys and girls... You're gonna take your little frog and you're gonna take another piece of tape and you're gonna tape him right on the end of your straw like this, okay? Then you're gonna take another straw, just like this, 
And what you do is you take the end and you put it right on top of the straw like this. Sometimes it might not quite fit, so you'll just have your special grown-up cut a little itty-bitty slit, just like that, and you can put your frog right in there like that, okay? Now, boys and girls, this is the fun part. This is when you get to make your frog jump. So, you're gonna take your frog, your straw, you're gonna put it in your mouth, and you're gonna blow, you're gonna blow out air as hard as you can. And what's gonna happen is your frog is gonna fly off. Wanna see it go? Okay, ready, here we go. One, two, three. Whoops, that one didn't quite work. Let's try it one more time. I think I pushed it on a little too far. There. Okay, let's try again. Whoops, he's falling. There, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Whoa, look how far he went, boys and girls. That is super cool. Then what you can do, maybe with your special grown-up, you can take a ruler, you could take a tape measure, and you can measure how far your frog went. So I started right here. I could put my tape measure all the way to here, and then measure to me. Mine went about 17 inches. This would be a fun game. Maybe you can make a couple of them with maybe a brother or sister, your special grown-ups, and maybe you can have a frog jumping competition. Look, I made another one. Let's see if I can make this one go farther. You ready? One, two, three. Nope. Let's try again. You have to wiggle it a little bit sometimes. Whoops, I made him fall out. Let's try again. One, two, three. Oh, where did he go? Let's try to measure him. Hmm. He went about 21 inches. Isn't that super cool? So boys and girls, if you have some time, maybe you can make your own little frog rocket launchers here. It's a lot of fun. All right. So boys and girls, I'm so glad we were able to get together and learn a little bit more about frogs. I will see you again tomorrow and we will keep on learning. I miss you all and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.